Welcome to the stjamespickleball.com website. This is a short video on navigating the website. When the page first opens up, you'll notice in the top left-hand corner, St. James Pickleball and the logo. That's how you always return back to home. Also note at the top, this is your main navigation bar. There's also a home button there that'll take you back to home, but this navigation bar is on every single page and it's how we can navigate the entire website. And in the middle of the page, we have an image that we change frequently so that you know the site is being kept up to date. Also, it, it covers some of the most recent events. Just under that image, we have three columns that have the most recent and featured items that we are talking about on the website. Underneath those featured items, we have the latest post. The latest post also lists on the right hand side, you see the latest events, but the latest posts have a little reveal there of maybe what might be inside the latest post. And on the right, you have a list of the latest posts. The latest post is the most current information happening in St. James and also advertising some of the upcoming events, etc. Let's go back to the navigation bar, the navigation and the very first tab we have is Pickleball Play, which includes everything you want to know or you need for information about Pickleball Play. Next is the docs. The docs are all things related to rules, regulations, and things to do with the board members. Then we have useful links, just some odds and ends. Uh, pickleball rules, link to House of Pickleball, weather forecasts. Next up, we have membership membership page and uh, one it also has the form for signing up to become a member and one note is that you have to sign up every year the membership is a yearly membership then we have the events events of course are the heart and soul of the website let's drill down into the events and take a look at a couple ways you can view and find events first there's the search then on the right, you have a list. The list allows you to uh, choose a month, day, or week. The month view is very nice to look at. Gives you everything in for the month in one glance. And then, of course, at the top, you can also navigate through the months. Now let's go ahead and drill into an event. And when you're in an event, you read about the event and you can register. Or once registration becomes full, you can join the wait list. I want to point out that when joining the wait list, that's a good thing because if a person unregisters, the first person on the wait list automatically gets notified and is moved into the registered position. Also, once you have registered, you're going to come back to that same event page and you'll notice that there's going to be a link that you can use to unregister. Uh, you just have to make sure that you're using your, your correct email. Whatever email you registered with, is what you're going to have to use to unregister because it's going to send you an email that you're going to get a link in that you can come back to unregister. Jumping back up to the navigation bar, we have the contact us tab has a little information about us, a contact us form, and then also a contact the sunshine club form. Just wanted to mention that the uh, sunshine club has their actual page underneath the pickleball play. Um, if you're looking for that. Besides, you can also f send them a message through the uh, contact us form there where you see the Sunshine Club. And then the last item on the navigation uh, bar is the search. And the search will search anything in our website. Very, very efficient and very, very helpful in case uh, you can't find something. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video about how to navigate through the stjamespickleball.com website. And I want to thank everybody for uh, becoming a member and supporting St. James Pickleball. Thank you and good day.
listen to this video this far all the way to the end, that's pretty amazing. But you're going to be one of the first ones to hear about Easter eggs. Easter eggs aren't just for scoffing. They're the buried treasure equivalent of the technology world created by smart developers to boggle the mind and they are hidden deep in your tech or our website just for the fun of it. This taste for covert surprises began long before the computer age, but today Easter eggs can be found everywhere from websites to CDs to humble washing machines. They might exist for a programmer's own amusement or just as a way to keep an in-joke alive, but for you this means to visit the website often and read through the content. If you find an Easter egg, it may not be easy to spot, but if you find an Easter egg, click on it, fill out the form, and you will be rewarded with three free pickleballs. Once again, thanks for listening, and have a good day.